Alright, this is Mofo See That, and today we have the first loot crate of the new year, 2016, and to coincide with the um, X-Files Revival miniseries for the end of January, the theme for this crate is Invasion. So let's see what goodies they have in store for us this month. Uh, as you can see, the little... Uh, indent on here, so maybe there's a lot of goodies that are just gonna ship. Ooh, so on the side, here's astronaut with the laser gun with the stereotypical a alien flying saucers with an invasion game similar to Space Invaders. And, well, let's take a look at the shirt. The shirt looks interesting. It's in gray. It's another black shirt. Oh, it's an X-Files shirt, if you can see it properly. I'm assuming it's X-Files, because skirt and jeans. So, Mulder, Scully, Invasion, Aliens. We'll find out more when we see the uh, book inside. That's interesting. And ooh, we have some kid robot stuff. This is kid robot face hugger. It's pretty cute, but deadly. From Alien, this is part of their plushy line when they make horror icons into really freaky dicky cutie things. This is the Loot Crate exclusive, so you can get two versions of the Alien, but the Facehugger is currently exclusive, so this is fun and nice. Yeah, ooh. Let's see here. Space Invaders mini alien vinyl figures, the limited edition. So these are what they look like on the side, and this one is looks like this. There's a freaky deaky thing. Ages 14 and up. This is not a toy, officially uh, Taito licensed product, which I presume is the uh, company that made Space Invaders. Cool. You need a lot of space, but just a pixel. So here it is. It's transparent blue into green. Which is pretty cool. It has the labels down here. So the original game, 1978, 2015 for this. Official license. You can put this either way because it'll look the same. That's interesting. Very interesting. I hope I got that on camera. So this is the one. So presumably if you want to make a real life Space Invaders game, you would just buy a bunch of these. This is the Loot Crate exclusive, those. I'm assuming you can get the different colors, like the pink into blue, and the orange into clear, or white, depending on what you would label translucent colors as. So that's Space Invaders. Now I'm off to the side of the camera again, so I apologize if you don't get everything centered. So, ooh, this is the X-Files uh, stand-in. This is the LED flashlight, water resistant, anti shock switch, and batteries included. But it is packaged separately. Packaged separately. Well, this is part of the revival series, I presume, and it's always a bitch to try to open it. But well, let's see if we can't carve into this without damaging too much of it. I mean, batteries separate. So this is what the top head looks like. There's dust. So there's one LED in the center and eight around it. Well it has the X files right here the TM and whatnot, 2015. 
So this is similar to like a regular one by a Walmart. This shock resistant switch is this rubber thing right here where you can just push and click to turn it on and off. Now, this one, the varies on the kind you buy. Sometimes it'll open in the front, this one opens in the back. So this one will take uh, as usual four three um, AAA batteries. This one tells you what side to put it on. This one, these two would be the positive sides. This one would be the negative side. So I'm not going to introduce that because all I have is D batteries for my Nerf gun. So can't show that for you currently. I'm going to pop this back in. I will need this in the future probably. That's good. Ah, it does package separately. This is just the GP extra heavy duty batteries. Well, I wouldn't have expected them to be like exclusive batteries, but nice to know that they do give you batteries and they are true to their word. So, it's sticking, sticking friction. Well, not friction, but uh, electrical static so popping this back off so negative 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 and so you put this in I don't think it matters either way you put it in no this one goes, so now it's just a big black and green battery at the top and the bottom, so you put it in like this and it should work because it's spring. Ooh, holy shit. Take it off so it doesn't blind me when I'm trying to put it in. Okay, so we're going to point it away from us, okay? So. That is bright. So, you can see the rest of the stuff here. But here, on the uh, box, you, it's more of a blur than you see on camera. And it only focuses when I put objects in front of it. But on the camera you see right now, there's direct contact. And there's the outer edge, but in person it's more blurred out than that. So that's interesting. It shines very brightly. That's good. This one is a gigantic elastic band for something. We'll find out later. So, ooh, this is the new thing. This pin unlocks something epic. Go to lootcrate.com uh, slash pins. They had a video about this. I didn't really watch it. It's, even though it's only a, like 30 seconds long. I'll watch it later. But this is Alien, the Loot Crate, Loot Pins, January 2016, Invasion. So I'll check that out. And then I may or may not make a follow-up video. And winner, multi-pass. So this is from the fifth element, and this is also another exclusive. They're not. Hmm. So this is uh, exactly how you would wear like a keychain, a pass, and then you can thing for the thing to pass, class T, and yeah, yeah, push these out, and then it disconnects, and then you can put this on it, where's the, here, and presumably, now, this is 
for it to use your actual ID and then you can just slide it in instead and have that be it similar to what this would do okay so that's interesting they have something for movie accuracy and for uh, personal use so you can use this when you uh, cause well I don't know if you would dress up uh, or have a multi-pass without dressing up as Lulu but you can probably make a copy just put that on there for an idea so that's interesting and here invasion of the mini prints so, these are uh, presumably another new item we have two prints this one is war of the worlds like the um, in the day the earth stood still I don't think these are exclusive. These might be exclude, uh, no, uh, more new additions to it, like the pins. So these are the movie covers, of both made in the early 40s or 50s. I'm not great with early horror movie uh, dating. Besides Godzilla, and, but these are very interesting. So that's good. The last bit we have here. Watch, listen, play, share, enjoy more of Invasion at lootcrate.com slash experience. And this continues the trend of the boxes becoming other things as you would change this. Open up these two tabs, flip it upside down. This will become an arcade cabinet. Too bad there's a bit of lines on here. So, this month's theme is Invasion. How to survive an alien invasion. X-Files quick start guide. And Q and A Q&A with the January shirt designer. This is cool. It's a different format. So here's uh, the contest page. Grand prize is this. An alienware stuff. How to survive an alien invasion. So this is a uh, a parody of what a um, of like a survival guide, which is humorous. There's a couple pages of that. And then exclusive content, catch up on the truth of X-Files. And it opens up with a brief blurb about um, the original series and the movies. So here's quick character blurbs for Agent Mulder, Scully, um, Assistant Director Skinner, Shark Boy, which is an example of the Monsters of the Week category. The Alien Black Oil as part of the mythology episodes. Mulder and Scully, their relationship, hint, hint. And the two films. And there's a number of binging guides online of key episodes to watch, including ones by The Huffington Post, Reddit, and Wired. A bunch of podcasts, huge fan series, who's who appears in the upcoming revival. So that's interesting. I'm in like the seventh season right now, so I don't really need eight or nine to watch it. So I kind of remember it, but they're not really Mulder and Scully centric until like the mythology episode. So here, this is a mega crate, which 15 lucky winners. And this is the mini mega crate. And see this. Ooh, an exclusive. Or not exclusive. The Blu ray complete set. An alien with the egg. This is Akbar. So this is cosplayer. Backpacks, projectors, headphones. This one's a. Uh, stuff. Everyday invaders. So this is. Invaders in real life. Our New Year's resolution a t shirt in every crate and new pins every month, giving you access to exclusive DLCs. So, that is another reason why I should go in there. So, sometime this is the Transformers from the Transformers crate um, Prime. It's the second Transformers crate or the first one? I'm not sure. But it's one of the first ones I've reviewed. And so now, 
like when they did the Breaking Bad one, they gave us the uh, the apron, the cooking apron, instead of a t-shirt. So here, it's be interesting. So this one, be mix and mash up. So match each alien with their ship, if you remember what movie they're from, and the outlines of their ship. So, E.T., um, the Borg, uh, Melvin Martian, and like from the aliens from Independence Day, which sequel is coming out uh, soon, so that'd be great. Uh, crossword puzzle, that's new. The alien invasion is now. So, this is about three different movies and shows, episodes. See, this one is. Doctor Who, Impossible Astronaut, the, um, Matt Smith or David Tennant? Huh. Mm. So the art is out there. So this is the t-shirt design challenge, which is what the t-shirt was about X-Files. So that's interesting. Ooh, here's the runner-up, um, design, which looks pretty cool as well. And we can download the artwork at loot.cr slash xfiles dash a so that be good so, here. Uh, there we go focus this is another artwork so there's two different artworks design this is another one we can do the same website but replace the a with a b so this is the exclusive xfiles a day has come t-shirt good pretty cool and the UFOs are pulling it. Uh, Facehugger plush. Oh, they're all holding it. Um, space Invaders. It's vinyl. E multi pass. It's a pop, prop replica, yeah. Exclusive invasion art print. I hope they continue with the art prints because those are interesting. LED flashlight. The brand new exclusive pin. Letter 44, issue 1. What? Oh, the pin gives you the digital download for Letter 44 from Oni and Comixology. So that does not explain this unless I need to put this through those two holes I see right here here in order to keep the box together, which in that case, that's fine. I'm not going to be using it anytime soon. Okay, let's look at this. So this is like a regular pin. You pinch this and it opens up. So yeah, so you'd use this pen, go to this IP address, and then you would get your exclusive thing. This is pretty cool. So, um, this is Mofo, see that? And I will see you with next month for Loot Crate February and the Marvel Collector Core, which is Deadpool. And in March, I have a new subscription to the DC um, box, so that will be on time for Batman v Superman The Dawn of Justice. So enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys later.